All right, guys, welcome back to a bonus episode of Stray. So, um, yeah, I decided that we'd come back and we'd just have a look around for some of the stuff we missed and um, try and tidy up maybe some of the achievements as well. So, um, yeah, it looks like we need to... Um, Find some memories and different bits and pieces. Um, where should we start, though? Because we still got quite a bit to do in the um, in the slums. We still have quite a bit to do there. We got to find some of the the music sheets and bits and pieces that we didn't find. Um, we can also try and play do the basketball thing. So uh, yeah, let's um, go into part two of the slums. And uh, see if we can't find what we need to find. Clearly, I'm going to have to replay this game at some point, though, because uh, it's like there's an achievement to complete in under two hours. I'm sure, you'll be going for that one, Deathwish. That's what I thought. Yep. Ah, uh, totally. <laughs> Absolutely. One hundred percent. Uh, I think uh, slums, like the basketball thing and the musical thing. Uh, Frank, I mean, you played it. Uh, you probably paid more attention. But weren't the second and fourth levels uh, here? Yes. Okay. That's what I thought. But yeah, so like the first time you're on the second level, even if you left, you get another chance to yeah, let's do everything sort of thing to to, to, to finish off because there's you know this particular level, which two and four, is so has so much stuff in it that compared to the other levels that it, you know. Oh, number one fox with the raid seven. Thank you very much, dude. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, raiders. Are, we all are they raiders or are they invaders? Or are they Ooh, traders? Well, Let's see. I'm sure they're uh, a nice bunch of people. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll be optimistic and hope for that. Yo, thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much for the raid. Gratefully appreciated. Welcome along to our post-game playthrough. And Barra, thank you very much for the follow, dude. Appreciate that. Hey, how you doing? Uh, 687? My, man, I don't... The, the sucky thing is, I need to fix my desk so that... Or my Yo, monitor thanks for the raid, dude. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bearing, thank you very much for the follow. Again, gratefully appreciate. Thank you, thank you. Oh, hold on. I, just, I, didn't, I didn't see this before, I don't think. You did. I've got I watching TV here before. Um, we finished it last night, actually, and um, it was really, really good. Really enjoyed it. We just um, decided, I just decided to sort of do a bonus stream at the end here. It's where we can kind of like go through and um, tidy up some of the stuff we didn't find, like memories, and um, maybe try up tie up some of the um, achievements as well that we didn't pop. But no, thoroughly enjoyed this game. It was um, we actually played it. Death Wishes on the the stream with me via the voice call, and it was um, Death Wish. Oh, wow. One of our uh, points for all was the stream takeover, and Death Wish actually suggested or requested this as his stream takeover game. So um, yeah, it's. Um, Great time was had by all, indeed. Yeah, and he got to play it for free. Yeah. I'm grumble <laughs> with that. There you go, cheapskate. <laughs> Somehow, right, so... I feel like I should be making money off this deal. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know, man. Seriously. <laughs> you know how much I care about that. This guy, our cheapskate. <laughs> All right, well, I've got to remember where all these vending machines are, because it looks like, although we, um, it doesn't look like the items save you have picked up previously, so, uh, yeah, it looks like Yeah, I, 
I haven't so gone. I need, no, no, because the vending machine was just the memory, wasn't it? So, uh, I don't think I need to. Well, yeah, machine. I mean, you had three things. You had the memory, the the one item you needed, which hey, was the one, one you there. would first get. And, yeah, but anyway, you need it. You need a six total. Oh, you got it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Achievement down. Yeah, I haven't gone back and played it to get that one. Uh, uh, that was when I, when I first came into this area and I came to that section. I saw that basketball and the, and the the, the little uh, basket at the bottom. I'm like, that's got to be an achievement. You see, I, I missed that one the first time around. Interestingly, but the one I the one I thought it was was by the I think it's where the guys are throwing the paint between the buildings. I thought because there was, I'm sure I found a basketball up there, and I was pretty convinced that um, that was oh, the place yeah, yeah. we needed to be. Yeah, yeah there's multiple basketballs, yeah. but the the one uh, uh, hinted to you before you played it was the one I thought for sure was, you know, like how they be like one of the major achievements. So to speak was the, the three flowers yeah uh, when when you're running around the tree and you bring yeah. them all back to her and she's like yeah thanks no you get nothing for that really there was no point in it. you don't have to do it to complete the game you don't get an achievement for it and i'm kind of wondering uh i'm being optimistic in their direction that it was supposed to be an achievement but it somehow yeah, I, I suppose it's it's another one of those it's another one of those things like the pool table though isn't it well not really i'll disagree with you on that the pool table you can just get up there and slap balls around and whatever i mean that was very specific she asked for three very specific flowers and you had to go to three very specific places to get them and bring them back i mean that if that's not a you know <laughs> if that, yeah if that's not an achievement i don't know what is there it is but yeah i mean did you not think that like like if you're, you're required to do these certain things well i mean to be to be fair i i thought that i don't remember there not being a purpose to that so uh, there, there was there there was no purpose to it you could uh, you could you could have left and never done any of it like there's a whole lot there you could have left and not done any of it but that one in particular it, it didn't give you uh an achievement and there was no purpose okay. like like, well, like um, uh, I'll say, well, I'll say, other than completing the task and you get the dialogue from the robot, but that just that was something that didn't help you get anywhere in the game. Is I guess my point. Uh, it, it doesn't. Ha it didn't help you uh, go further or do. Any it didn't help you in the game. It did absolutely nothing other than, hey, I got all three flowers and all was good. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It, it, I mean, unless you read it differently. Well, like I said, we can, uh, we'll head back to the uh, the entry, whatever it was called, later on. Let's see what we can uncover later. I guess. Uh, because we have missed a memory there as well. I noticed when we was on the select select chapter screen, so. Um, do you need to go back there? Yeah, I miss, I was pretty darn thorough for for my uh, amount of patience. <laughs> <laughs> for your amount. I mean, of I, like, like I really did check out everything. Like, I, I try, you know, knock style. Like, uh, I see a dot. If there's, I'm gonna press it. I don't care if it does nothing but knock a pot off or you know whatever. I was doing everything everywhere and making sure I checked every nook and crevice. Uh, I think still, 
Well, honestly, I don't know. I think you got uh, more of the memories than I did. Uh, yeah, I got here 20, 21 out of 27, I think it said. Okay, I, does it tell you that on uh, the game page? Or? Yeah, when you go to, um, when I went to the, like the load screen, um, I'm pretty sure it said on there, 21 out of 27, so. Yeah, uh, so I need to load it up, okay. Let's see. You won't be able to load it up there, will you? <laughs> Yeah, okay. Offline mode. You get boom, second. Yeah, okay, yeah, that one. I cannot remember where any of these um, like boom, shaka -laka. music sheets are. Uh, oddly enough, that's the most uh, opposite of me, and more like you. I thought you would have gotten all the music sheets. Uh, I, I was think, determined. I think I only ended up with six in my playthrough, actually. Uh, the like the first time I was in here, I found everything. What in the slums, you mean? Yeah, like I found everything. I was a hundred percent done. Even when it, you got to leave, and it says, "Are you sure you want to leave?" And it's like, yeah. Uh, Nothing else I can do here. I've even got to drop the paint again. Jeez. Okay. It really does, like, reset everything. Yeah. Like, once you load an area, and I think, you know, once you... And then come back, it, it resets certain things, yeah. Hey, Grandma. Grandma. Oh my goodness, how rude. He needs his library back? What's, what's going on with this dude? I got five minutes. <laughs> what's going on? This dude think he is one of his games library back. Oh. He must be subscribed to EA, I mean, Origin. <laughs> Blue 12. Say B, B12 is like, stands for Blue 12. Blue 12? Yeah, it tells you on the beat up. I'm booting up the game. Want me to... Uh... Come off a minute. Uh, let's see. Got four minutes left. Oh, okay. Here we go. Gas three. Six or seven. Two, three, six, seven. This door was a bit of a mystery as well. I remember like scratching this door, somebody talking, and then nothing really materialized of this. This was a bit of a mystery. Then that reminds me of like the one in the um, in the last area. It was a uh, the guy who was going to work. Are you talking about oh, the guy that needed a, a helmet and the jacket? No, he's, we scratched on that door, and then there was the there was the dude who um, you could hear him talking to his wife, or and he was going out to work. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He never came. Yeah. He never actually came out of his house, but yeah, that's where I was talking about. Yeah, he's got a work door he leaves through, and then that's the personal door yeah. kind of thing. <laughs> that's it. That's what we was talking about. All right, let's see. I need... What am I up to here? Three. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking on my thing. Uh... 
The memories don't start until the flat, because the, the first inside the walls, just the whole introductory period, the dead city, and then he then you enter the flat. So I got one, one there's one memory there, I got that one. Uh, the next one is the slums. I got six out of seven there. The rooftops, I got two out of three. And then back to the back to the slums part two. I got six out of seven. Three out of three on dead end. None in the sewer. I didn't get any. Zero. Zero out of two in the sewer. I got one of them in the sewer. Yeah, I got none. Uh, ant ant village. I got one of two. Yeah, same. Uh, and midtown. I got four of seven. And then. Uh, the last two jail, I, I, zero of one, and then the last one control room, one of one. So, yeah, I mean, overall, if you add it, add it up, I'm missing quite a few, but overall, I got the vast majority, so. Yeah. I was actually better than I thought. I thought I was missing way more than that. And, it's kind of like, you know, like, ow. Because, <laughs> I mean, I I really tried to, I did a lot of things that I, I think a lot of people wouldn't do just out of curiosity and kind of like, you know, trying to break the game, sort of. But well, trying to find a, you, let, let's face it, you're a cat. You've got a... You gotta push the boundaries, right? Yeah, uh, spot on, spot on. Yep. <laughs> Can't be catting. Oh. All right. Do you want to come out of the game now so that I can actually go back onto it? <laughs> oh shit! I forgot that you. That was yeah. My bad. Sorry. I thought you were still playing. All right, so I'm, I'm going to move to um, I'm going to move to this the tree area, yeah. Because um, did you not complete that? Uh, no, I think if I'm honest, I probably I'm probably going to want to look at a location guide or something for those because I oh, could... you, so you never actually did get the flowers. No, 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 uh, I've done the flowers. I was talking about the music sheets. Oh, okay, yeah, slums. Yes. But I do just want to kind of, I, because I, like I said, I, I was convinced it was, um, I was convinced that there was like a purpose to this, but. Uh, there is a purpose to the music sheets. No, no, I know there is for the music sheets, but I mean, <laughs> I meant the flowers. We get we, we keep uh, jumping from uh, okay. Top of the top I was of trying to, I thought you were talking about the flower since you were here on the tree, but there is no freaking purpose. You can skip it. Oh, well, you can't do anything here anyway until. Oh, there it is. There's the memory. Yeah, I wonder if that's yeah, yeah. why I wonder if that's why I missed it maybe. Because he doesn't want to talk and maybe I never came back. I don't remember uh what order I did that in. It's like a, I if I saw a writing on a wall, it typically has a translation. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just automatically hit all those spots. See, interesting as well, um, after like flicking, flicking through the achievements um, earlier on today as well, there's, um, I, I, I don't know about you, but I didn't get all the badges. Apparently there's more badges you can get. Uh... Yeah, uh, get a badge. 
you on there for uh, where do you see that? Language. How do you robots made it up from scratch? How impressive. I remember it happening when it was in the network. I don't know what exactly, but at one time all the communications started to switch to the symbols. I was stuck in a computer and alone for a long time. So I translated every symbol and word one by one until I was able to understand everything. Now that I'm out and I know their language, I'm curious to hear all they have to say. Cool. Right, that was the missing memory here. Right, so now I can... It's got the tree. The word... Where did you see the badges? Uh, so like on the... On his, uh... Little backpack thing. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, and game. Yeah. But yeah, there's uh, apparently more than... I have. What many do you have? Honest. Yeah, I never. I, I, I looked at the light coming from the backpack thing, uh, but I like how it changes there based on what kind of action you can do and stuff like that. But. And there was, I think it was a yellow plant as well, wasn't it? De Devin, Deathwish does the stream takeover whenever he wants. It's, that's just the magical power. So. It's really Deathwish's stream. I'm just. <laughs> it, Death, yeah. Deathwish yeah. just has no face, so I just have to sit here and pretend I'm streaming. But it's all Deathwish, it, really. And, and he's. And Knock is reading off a teleprompter of what I type. Also, as we uh, restart the game, uh, ah, screen back. Uh, da -da -da -da. Right, where was the yellow? Ah, uh, no more game sounds. I mean, no more game sounds. And have no game sound. Uh, you should have game sound. I've just had the stream for you on Discord. Ah, oh, there's a yellow. Not mind. seeing it! <laughs> Hold on, let me... Let's see... It's definitely running! <laughs> let me... Let me... That was yesterday. Um, yeah, okay, I'm on your stream. That you're up in deep concentration mode. You can hear the cogs ticking in the background. Wow, it's it's amazing that I can even uh, use a computer and and decipher what you're saying at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I'm not seeing anything. The... Here you go, look. Here you go, look. Thank you so much. Here is as a reward. Take my badge. So you get yeah. a badge for doing the flowers. Okay. I missed that. I wasn't. I, I didn't like the badge, the flower badge thing together. I was just like, ah. Yeah, I think I, 100 percent it had to do with me expecting an achievement, not a badge. Okay, yeah. That that that's ex yeah, that's exactly what it was. I was waiting for the achievement, and now I remember seeing the badge thing pop up, but I completely ignored it, and then went on. Shock. <laughs> completely ignore it. Not taking not taking any notice, really. That's what that means. Is that uh, some kind of clue for uh, tomorrow's Wordle? <laughs> Wordle. Man, I I was lucky yesterday. Hey, I'm, I've been lucky plenty. Uh, right, so... 
Yeah, I would have today's. I would have had four guesses, if not, if not for uh, Love Craps clue. It, it's not straightforward at all. So, like, if we give a clue, it's really up to or obscure or not very. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, and the the word he chose for his third word was the word I was going to choose for my third word. But then I looked back at uh, his share, and I'm like. That that doesn't work. He would have said something different, and then it dawned on me that at least I thought I did. In reality, it did. It was correct, my estimation. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was like like we give each other hints. Whoever does it first and shares it with the other, we'll give like. The, the most vaguest hints ever, yeah. you know, and, and like uh, quite most of them, we don't even get the hint until after we figure out the word. And yeah. we're like, oh, okay, I can see how that would work. Like, uh, yeah, tell me, like, here, I'll tell you what he, his hint was. Uh, yeah, he got four out of six. His hint, his clue was that's one way to put this together. Okay. So, yeah, it's nothing obvious about it, but once you get the word, you're like, okay, yeah. that, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, the, yeah, we don't do anything uh, purposely to give it away at all. We, we try to do the most uh, random, remotely have to do with it kind of clue possible. Yeah. The, the, just for fun. But, uh, uh, yeah, he, his, his clues have cost me an extra uh, guess a couple times. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to say no to that, Evan. I don't need your money, boy. It's fine. <laughs> yes, you must send all your money to. You can send it to. Um, Knox, get me. A, a place um, near Richmond in Virginia. Nah. Um, on the invoice, put um, <laughs> stray. <laughs> all right, so. I'm gonna do this because I need to use up my nine lives. Well, Evan, why? The answer is always gonna be because. So you need to know. Okay. If if, if your if your whole question is simply the word why, then just expect because as the answer. Now, your father does not have to even answer you without you even saying why, because you won't ask why. You know the answer would be because. Or, or the, long, the long version, because I said so. Yeah, I'm dying on purpose, Evan. Don't worry. My mouse, like, keep... Seriously, every time I die, my mouse repositions itself inside the game capture area for some reason. Yeah, but I did recall that happening to me. Figured it was on my end. <laughs> I'm so used to you know, things not working properly anymore. Yeah. I swear, like, look how long it takes to kill you. Yeah, but but like when you're running and you're yeeting them off of yourself, boom! You get one extra on you. It doesn't even turn its red, and boom! You yeah. just you dead. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't it be funny if there was an achievement for that? Evan? Cough, cough. 
That's a, that's, a, that's a good idea. I like the way he thinks. Hey, no more lives. All my nine lives are dead. Your save file is deleted. Rip you. <laughs> uh, that's it. Game over. It, but there we go. Thanks, I guys. See you later. Good friends, <laughs> what, what, what happened? That was it. I lost my nine lives. It's game over. No more lives. Oh, okay. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> it's confusing because, like I say, like we like we said the other night, though. Now the um, for whatever reason, the um, yeah, we got that one. But for whatever reason, the um, like Steam overlays don't show on stream. It's like I'm doing stuff and can see stuff. Hey, you um, guys can't. Yeah, the unless and uh, probably something changed then. Wow, you ever use the UV light there? What do you mean? I used it to perfection, I think you'll find. Yeah, you ended up okay, but man, the guy was sparking. I never I never made him spark except for the first time. I'm like, it's oh, fine. that's what happened. <laughs> no, it's not. It, that was a horrible disservice. And he really made your uh, little robot companion mad. He'll get over it, I'm sure. His feelings are hurt. Uh, robots don't have feelings. Too well, too apparently, apparently they do, as said at some point in the game. Can't say it earlier now because you're not in the same place. All right, let's keep an eye out for these memories. Where, would, if you was a memory, where would you be? In my head. Early oh yeah, that's um. Okay, let me rephrase. If you was a cat and you was looking for a memory, where would you be? Uh. I don't say in the cat's it, head because. No, nope, getting in the woods and coming and asking the person who wanting to try to find their memories. Uh. Just to ask for food or whatever. Cats don't care. Ever wants to know what's, your, what's the favorite game you? What's your favorite game that you have, Deathwish? Uh, I actually have a lot of favorites, but the one I played the most, the uh, you can guess what that is. Uh, the one I played the most is Portal Two. Uh, from 2007, the first portal, and all the mods, and everything else, and all these years, from 2007 until, eh, uh, just before the start of this year, this is the first year since portal came out in 2007, that I have not, uh, regularly play portal or posted videos or done any of the normal stuff I used to do so there don't got to say about that all right forest me starting in my accent in a minute steady on <laughs> Saw that up there and thought maybe that'd be like a little cheeky thing that you could get up there, but I guess not. Yeah, I don't, I don't hear any uh, game sounds. I don't know why. Are you sure you've got your uh, sound turned up on the Discord stream? I haven't changed it. That's what you oh, that means nothing. Uh, yeah, true, true that. That is, that is correct. Make sure it's turned on and rebooted and make sure it's plugged in, all that. Because you're like, yeah, of course it is. But you didn't realize that a huge raccoon went running by chasing after some kind of ravenous mouse and knocked the cord out the wall. So why would you check since it's a simple thing? Because you're not that stupid. 
Uh, yeah, you're also, forget, you're also forgetting the, the part that Windows decided it needed to do something different to f screw your machine, so it's just screwed all your system settings <laughs> again. Oh, uh, man. Do you, do you have that issue? All the I, time, man. Uh, I, never, I never have to deal with that, luckily. Let's see... Where art thou? Where art thou, brother? Oh, that's a good movie. Where art thou? Oh, talking about movies, I meant to tell you the other day, we watched, um... Oh, I watched it all, Katie fell asleep towards the end, but, um... We watched, uh... Gray Man the other night. What'd you think? Yeah, it was good. It was good. Yeah, I, th I thought so. Uh, yeah, Almost, I don't um, think it was like the greatest ever, but it was it was definitely worth a watch, and I think uh, yeah. It, it, I'm not going to uh, you know. I'm not going to visit Prague anytime soon. Though I mean that looked pretty destroyed. <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> I uh, certainly did a good job on that. To be fair, though, I didn't even I didn't even, I wouldn't have recognized without looking at the credits and stuff that that was um, Chris Evans was the. Uh, the bad dude. Yeah. I don't know if it's like the little cheesy mustache that he had in, in the film or what, but um, yeah, yeah, I, I think, really did I not recognize that mustache. him. But, yeah, I think he grew that mustache for that role. That's not a pasty. It's actually what his mustache would look like if he were to grow one and have it trimmed that way. Uh, it no, it's not horror, horror, Evan. It's action. It action could be horror. wrong. But yeah, he de definitely looks like, yeah, you know, Captain America. See, I I, yeah, play. you see, I, I saw Chris Evans and I was like, okay, um, yeah, Captain America. I know what that dude looks like. And then I was like, oh, that's Chris Evans. <laughs> yeah, I, I was the same way. I was like, wow, that that simple little change of a little bit of hair and makeup. Doing, you know, little Hollywood magic, and it's not a huge, huge change, but I, mean, I can still see him. With it, you know, I had to be like, I had to think about uh, what he looked like in, you know, regular life. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty wild. I just watched uh, Elvis Presley. Any good? Uh, you know, I, I, even as a person who's, uh, I've never been a huge fan, like, like these crazy, crazy ones. Uh, of course, that was before my time, really. I mean, he was still popular during my time growing up, but uh, then, of course, he overdosed or whatever. And, uh, but yeah, it was, it was, uh, good movie and they actually pointed out some stuff that most people don't realize or they don't want to acknowledge about where he got his style from and things like that but yeah the people that played him uh, did a great job and w the biggest surprise was I did not realize that Tom Hanks was a main character on that. Yeah, I, I, um, I can't think what we went to see. We went to see a, f we we don't go very often, but we we did go to see uh, something at the movies a while ago when it was first being advertised, and I did see that uh, Tom Hanks was like the big, kind of, person who brought him to, kind of fame. It, that's the impression I got. Yeah, anyway. his manager. Uh, but I didn't. I didn't realize that uh, he essentially even he was basically a secondary character. Uh, I guess it depends on how you look at it. I mean, he, he kind of shared the limelight when it came to uh, the success and how things happen. Uh, yeah, they, they, they do leave a lot of stuff out there. I'll say that, but I mean, even at two and a half hours. Oh, geez, it's, yeah. it, it, it's, it's still hard to fit stuff into, like, you, you know, just like was, anybody, like a Michael Jackson movie. Yeah, it, it, 
it would be four hours long and you still couldn't well, that's, tap that's, into. that's the problem though isn't it is when you like do like a biopic like that and it's somebody who's such a formidable and well-known star and had such a, a career spanning like so long and there's so much history to that person it's like what do you put in and what do you leave out you know you've got to draw the line somewhere you can't put everything in no uh and i mean you could you can make it a like a two-part a three-part a four-part yeah series. but i i think i think it kind of gets to gets to a point though if you make it kind of like that sort of length you run the risk of then people losing interest maybe like not so much like the diehard yeah. the diehards will watch you whatever Right, I think when right. you're appealing to a, a casual market who think, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, just that's, a general cool. audience. Yeah, yeah, well, oh, yeah, that's a picture, picture about Elvis. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I'll, I'll watch that sort of thing. Um, everybody, I like, like Michael Jackson, everybody knows who you, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like nowadays, the closest thing to that is Eminem. Yeah. yeah every, everybody knows who the hell Eminem there's no question who that is but then um eight mile was pretty representative of his like growing up and whatnot though wasn't it remember right yeah eight, eight mile is based on his life yeah uh, uh and how he went and rap you know to the rap battles and uh where he finally was actually involved in them and he started winning and he would write on really anything and everything uh yeah see i hate that it's like the uh, check button on those suckers don't work yeah i was like i'm like i was spamming like for when i was playing i was playing keyboard so i had it all and i'm like i, I got my finger used to hitting all so much and yeah, that's why I got the non lives achievement uh, way before you because I was going for uh, craziness, uh, right? Just run, run and gun kind of style. But yeah, doing the left right movements and throws them off. Yeah, there's, there's, there's really, like, I'm just thinking about it now. Like, you had Elvis into the 70s, uh, but then you had, you know, Jack's about Michael Jackson. Uh, You're not too loud. What's she talking about? He's you, upstairs. I'm down here. Hey, achievement unlocked territory. That's the one for scratching in every chapter. Yeah, I swear to God, I did that, and apparently I missed somewhere. Because my my initial thought when I first saw that in the game was that that's got to be an achievement. So, hey, that's up. We get to that again. Run towards the light. See, here's the problem, though. It's like I nobody's watching. This. I, I haven't um, got a clue. I haven't like, seen anywhere like where there's any memories or anything. But isn't this like coming to the end of the sewer area? Yeah, I don't. Uh, Surely they've not put like, the a memory thing, in the like, one thing of the I chase can figure areas. Is, I was going to say, the only thing I can figure is that like, I was pretty freaking thorough. I didn't, I didn't get it. And the one that pissed me off was scratching stuff because I scratched every damn thing everywhere. Apparently, I missed one. Somewhere. I guess. Because I didn't get it. 
Yeah, I, th I thought I was like making a conscious effort to avoid seeing the achievement, like scratch something in every area. Yeah, see, really? I, did, I didn't know that. I just assumed that had to be a thing. Because why would you have it in the game? It adds nothing to the game other than like an achievement. Yeah, yeah but it's, it's, again, though, isn't it? It's like the, trying to be the cat sort of thing again, isn't it? Cat being the cat, scratching everything it can. Yeah, uh, but yeah, that's exactly what I thought it was an achievement. But uh, apparently it didn't uh, hit enough. Because I think you only have to, because after the fact, I looked it up and said, yeah, you have to scratch an area in every level. And I could sworn I, I did that. I mean, I, I scratched the crap out of a lot of things. I even did uh, scratches on stuff uh, just to see if the scratches on different things was an achievement. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I should have I looked up the achievements before I started, not wasting my time. Now, I'm normally not an achievement hunter, but this was kind of, I don't know, for whatever reason, kind of fun to get, get the achievements on, on some of them. Oh man, that fan, that should start up way faster. We need, we need some blended cat. Blended cat. <laughs> you see, this is the next area. Yeah, don't ask me. I mean, I... I want, Yo, I, I, Mika. I thought I went mm -hmm. to every crevice. All right. Let's, um... Let's have a look at something. Oh, hey, Maker. Ah, for some reason, I already thought you were in chat. Um, right, where are we? Where are we? Where am I? Who am I? You don't know who you are. You don't know where you are. But when you realize, the realization will be real. Wow. Mind blown. <laughs> yeah, I was just reading off the teleprompter. Sorry. Oh, okay. But Sorry. It's, 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 it's what they told me to say. I mean, no, they didn't. Nobody. I mean, there's nobody. Where where are my games? Where's my library? Oh, I guess Okay. Two seconds. Sorry. Sorry. Two sex. Two sex. <laughs> Knock only needs ten seconds. To have sex twice. Yeah, we um <laughs> we finished the game yesterday, Mika, last night. We're just having a bit more of a look here to um see what's what. And I've got more perfect games than I thought. Anyway, I'll get distracted. Um You gotta have way more than me. I think I think uh last we checked i think i have like 26 uh, oh well at least on steam and all I, right I, so I, I have, I have played a lot of games that i didn't get on steam and 100 percent of them and cheat achievements but the achievements aren't in a cloud it's only in game and it's yeah you, you can't share it so I mean, I, I'd say I probably 
I could probably double at least a hundred percent games I have, but I will also admit that omit, not admit, uh, that uh, yeah, they were pre- uh, quite a few of them were pretty easy to get a hundred percent on. Uh, but but I got uh, uh, I got all hundred percent on Portal and Portal Two for Knock Dead. <laughs> See, look, I knew that was an achievement. I knew there was an achievement to scratch the vinyl in the club. I just couldn't work out how to do it when I was there. Um, really? Because that was not that must be a new achievement. Scratch. There's a record on the table. Pick it up, place it on the turntable on the main stage, and press the Y, press the button on the keyboard to scratch it. Okay. Yeah. That. Uh, the last I look. Right. Maybe. Uh, okay. So is there a 20, still 20 achievements? 24. But, uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so one of the badges I need is for the music's the music things. Okay. Um we got those two. I I did that on uh level two. Oh, Jesus uh-huh. like six badges to get. Okay, so the guy who's dropped his keys down there, he gives you a badge. Yeah, I got that one. Badge. But yeah, apparently I didn't get all the badges. Uh, I haven't looked to see which. Yeah, there's the six. So yeah, I, I, I would, I would wager, I would bet that I got five out of the six. Because I know I got a lot of badges. That seem like a lot more than it is, but, but yeah. Uh, I'd be surprised if I didn't have five out of six. Okay. All right. So that doesn't really tell me at the minute. It's all right, but it doesn't tell me where the the, the memories are, which is the actual information that I wanted. Okay. Achievements. I'm 12 out of 24. Okay. Yeah, I got the a little chatty catapult. Uh, no more lives. Productive day. Did you do that one? Which one? Productive day one. Yikes, 45 euros for something under five kilograms. Whoa. Oh, no, I haven't done a productive uh, productive day because I, I haven't run the game. You would think I would have that one already as much as I'll start a game, leave it running in the background. Five days later, realize it's running in the background. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would have got the no, I haven't got that one. I mean, that's a good to a spot. Um, you can do that from the intro. I think. Can you? Okay. All right. Let's, I'm gonna. I'm gonna head back to. Let me head back to. Chapter four, I think. I'm not going to worry about the memory at the minute. The memory is, uh... No. They must be, like, proper hiding away there. Yeah, I mean, some of the ones I found... I was there, and I didn't see them. Yeah. Uh, until I turned at a certain angle. Certain distance, and a certain... Yeah. It, it's like you have to be within a particular zone and looking at 
you know, at their uh, hitbox. Yeah. The, I figure, yeah, I probably passed right by all the other ones. I know what, it might actually be easier to do this on uh, part two of the slums because everything, some of the stuff will already be unlocked. Alright. Sheet music one. The first sheet is in Momo's apartment on a shelf near a mountain of boxes in a dark room. Of course it is. I know exactly where that is. Cool. Uh, the next one is on the street balcony next to the entrance to Clementine's apartment. Still makes me chuckle that there's like a um, um, a lock on that window. Find this. Find this door in there and scratch it open. Let's go inside the machine. I don't know what that is. Also, going to need to get these uh, energy drinks again. See. Bring back memories, bring back you. What are you talking about him? Siesta over there in America, Deathwish. right there. Oh, yeah. He's having a <laughs> siesta. I'm, I'm lurking. Lurking? You're not allowed to lurk. It's your stream. <laughs> I wish you could be like a real cat and attack these robots and just scratch and maul them apart like yeah you could pick, pick someone like uh cat steroids and go from a domesticated cat to a tiger and just 
rip through everything. Like that shark game. I don't know if you've ever played that, but uh no. Uh it's on, it's on Android and if you have a play pad you don't have to pay for anything. I think we that was one of the ones I was talking about last night. Okay. Uh, like if you were to uh get the best char to now man eater is it man eater yeah it's you, you spend ever a grand to get there no not man eater uh, no it's hold on before i say no let's see hungry shark that's what it's called Hungry Shark. Yep. And if you have Play Pass, you could spend the $99.99 uh, as much as you want because it doesn't cost you anything. And then be like the most badass shark right off the bat. And then there's other people that are playing that come into your area if they choose to do so but i've never been eaten i've i went straight to the top baby <laughs> it's kind of a it's, it's one of those games that there's no real replay value other than I mean, if, you play, if you play it for 15 20 minutes you're just uh you're gonna start recycling and then <laughs> uh unless you're actually paying that kind of money out of your pocket then uh kids are stupid uh, so basically you're saying it's um my sort of game yeah but uh, where i would sit there for countless hours just doing stuff just to do it. it. Yeah. I saw the game. Yeah, you just literally swim around and eat crap. Oh, crazy. What's going on? Doing? Uh, sometimes I try to imagine myself in the portal world when I played harder maps, try to cheat my mind. I think it's a real deal. Otherwise, I, I don't get out of any chambers. Just whenever you feel like that, slap on the VR headset, Mika, and uh, really immerse yourself. I don't think this is Clem's apartment, is it? No. Her apartment is... No, it is her apartment. Now only docks apartment. Ah, uh, we we still got plenty of stuff to look for. Crazy. Uh, oh, I got so I got sound back. Any sound cutting in and out? Uh no, the game sound. You said you were streaming it, but then I'm an idiot and didn't check. Uh, but apparently it cut off, and I just had it quick. Uh, bot stream again. Okay. It was, I'll tell you what it was. It was probably because... Um, yeah. Probably because it got cut off. Yeah, when I... Yeah. My account took over, yeah. My bad. I knew, I knew it had to be something stupid. On my end, uh, I must... Uh... uh <laughs> yeah, Death Wish is on Twitch, Evan. Um, I don't know yet, crazy. I'm still haven't made that decision. Honest. Just sort of enjoying what I'm doing at the minute. Just bitting and bobbing. It's freed up a lot of time to do other stuff as well. Yeah. 
decided to do some music. We decided to do like the hammer mapping and stuff. Um, yeah, I, I genuinely don't know at the minute. It's, it's the answer to that one. Yeah, somebody asked me that at the beginning of the year. I said, of course. Yeah, I'll be playing. But that didn't last long. Uh, I hit a dead end, a burnout, and then it's been the biggest burnout since I started playing, you know. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, 15, 15 years ago. And that's a long time to play any, any game that's literally had no changes other than uh, really stuff, fan made stuff. Yeah, other than exactly. Uh like Vmod, that that's a lot of people to make uh maps that you can normally play, people who learned hammer, people who, you know all that kind of stuff. Uh yeah, it's but yeah, still if it wasn't for all that, I definitely wouldn't have played as long as I did. And I'll definitely say that I'm not done. But uh, for the most part this year, yeah, I know Psychological Adam uh, started on his map, and I think I'm about halfway through it. But kind of like uh, other games, I, I just kind of I, I struggle sometimes. Uh, being persistent with uh, finishing. I just, yeah, I, I, I get, mean, I, I get my, bored. Too, I get bored too easy. My my argument, my argument's always been sort of like I, I do enjoy playing Paul and I enjoy the challenge, but it kind of gets to a point where you're constantly being sent difficult, draining maps, and yeah. It just gets to a point where you're just like, you know what, I, I I can't do this anymore. Yeah, that's the thing. It's it's not that the maps I'm sent are bad or whatever, but when I'm constantly sent these extremely difficult maps, I get burned out. I don't, I, my brain doesn't even want to work. I mean, like I literally don't even want to think about what I need to do. I don't. I, I'm not enjoying the puzzle. Yeah, and it's not, and it's not because of the way the puzzle is or anything. It's just I burn out with having to think, you know, twenty moves ahead, that kind of thing. Uh, it's it's nice to have like a valves level of portal puzzles where it's it. Can I, well, I, I can go back to, like, Skyfair. I think he does, you know, I think, like we said before, I think he does a pretty good job at making, like, portal difficulty levels and making it fun. And that's what I enjoy more. And when I want it down, then I'll, I know who to go to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, I know who makes challenging uh, maps and stuff like that, so, and, yeah, I kind of, you know, the whole, uh, you know, I, I was doing nothing but playtesting for so long, I pretty much rarely played, like, just stuff on the line, I didn't, I didn't do my uh, community chamber playthroughs anymore, the, you know, the, uh, New, uh, all that you know, all that jazz. I, I was just burn out from playtesting people's maps. Yeah. And, and but the thing was, that was fun to me though. It was fun to break them, and then it, they're fixed, and then I break them, and then a lot of them, uh, you know, people got better and better, and the less complicated or the smaller the area sometimes there was no way to break it as far as my skill level is concerned so and yeah I just 
I just got burnt out between playtesting, play, playing in general, and and then the request and all that. I just got burnt out. I mean, the thing, the thing is for me, it's not just like a matter of burnout, but um, for me... Something new and innovative. It's, well, it's not that. It's because because I, I genuinely don't have a lot of time to play like Portal and only Portal on streams. It's just, it's so restrictive for me because it means, you know... I can't do things like, you know, look at like doing some music or I can't look at doing some map making or I can't like doing and like DJing or anything, all these other little hobbies that I have as well as sort of playing Portal and playing other games that I don't get a chance to do. It's just, I don't know, it just became a bit of a, um, a, a bit of a big burden. Burden's not the right word, but almost like a burden that... Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 that's all I was doing, and I wasn't getting round to doing other fun things that I wanted to do. So yeah, you're, you were trying to fulfill uh, obligations that weren't really obligations. Yeah, you, you, you just felt like you had to do it because you know you get to know people in a certain click, like the portal click. Most everybody, I mean, got plenty of outsiders no matter where you look, but uh, most of us know each other that have been yeah. around, you know, so, and, and it's hard to turn down people when they ask you to play their maps or listen yeah, to that. And, I always, I always yeah. feel bad in a way because my whole, I wouldn't say my whole, but the majority of like my streaming community was built on Portal 2. So yeah, it's almost... Yeah. You know, turn my back on Portal Two and be playing other things. I always know that that's going to have a detrimental impact on the stream because people, you know, we, we, I won't get as many people here watching the stream and tuning into the stream for that very reason. But you know, it, it all comes back though to my um, philosophy, and my my whole philosophy is on streaming and YouTube and everything has always been. I don't care about the popularity. I mean, I've sat here streaming not some nights and not had anybody come through the door and watch the stream. But for me, it's just something I enjoy doing. And it's about me sharing my experience of games and my experience of, of different bits and pieces with other people if they want to tune in. You know, exactly. I, I'm, I, you know I'd, I'd be more than happy just to sit here even by myself or just with you all night, Deathwish, just, you know, just, just chatting, um, completely not rubbish. Um, Michael, yeah. But you know, I, that's that's the way I've always approached doing this. I, it's never been about oh, let's let's do this and let's play this because I want to be popular. Sure, I'm sure if I wanted to grind out Fortnite for about a month or two and um, got good at the game, I'd be having like loads of people coming through the door all the time. But that doesn't interest me. I, I want to play what yeah. I want to play, not what's popular. I don't want to. I, I don't right. want to become popular by doing something that doesn't fill me with happiness or, or give me any joy that if, if that makes sense yeah absolutely 100% uh, you couldn't have said it any better or I couldn't have said it any better myself <laughs> yeah I mean that seriously it's I mean unless you're making bank then there's no point to do it unless you're enjoying it. Yeah, exactly. And but people, people today, especially like younger people, don't really understand or appreciate that and they just think like you talk to younger people about like streaming or on youtube and they're like oh why why don't you play this why don't you do this because you know you'll get more views or you'll you know you'll you'll get twenty thousand subscribers on your channel instantly if you do this and this and this but that's, that's not what i'm about like yeah. i said i really i i don't want to play um 
games. I mean, Evan, Evan knows. Evan, Evan's always, all the time comes through to me because I, I like, you should really play this game. This game's really cool. This one's really cool. That's fine. You think that game's really good, Evan, but it's not me. I don't want to play that game. Just showed up. Sorry. That that achievement showed up on screen. Just to let you know. Oh, did it? Ah. Interesting. But yeah, go ahead. Oh yeah, and I, I appreciate that, Maker. And that's that's the way for me. That's how I approach other people's streams, whereby I go for. I, I watch other people's streams for more for the community and for the people who are there and to support the person. Regardless of what they're playing, I enjoy kind of like spending my time in those streams with those people. So, you know, whereas a lot of people will, will turn up to a stream, like if you, let's say I, I was streaming Fortnite once and I, I got like 100, 100 followers and the next stream I kind of like streamed, I don't know, let's say we streamed Stray. You'd probably lose 100 followers in the next stream because like oh man this, this game's rubbish blah 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 that people don't want to stay and involve in the community almost people like to almost i think people sometimes feel privileged but for lack of a better word that they can go into people's streams and say oh you need to do this and you need to do this and you need to do that without actually being part of the community and actually understanding the philosophy and the and, and the ethos behind the community. Yeah. Um, but yeah. No, hundred percent agree. Yeah. It's also, yeah. Every, you know, everybody is a like like the internet meme, the Reddit's the everybody's an armchair expert. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, it's the way it'll be. It's the way it always will be. And even before the internet, uh, people would talk and, you know, they couldn't back it up. But yeah, anyway, yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, but I mean, I, again, though, it's, it's, it's part and parcel of, of the internet and, and what's sort of become... Um, what what the internet has developed is like every because everybody's on the internet, everybody's got their own opinion, and everybody's opinion's right. People don't. Oh, I missed a hydrate. Sorry, Evan. Um, pe people just there's a lot of like my opinion's right, and I'm going to push that opinion on you. Yeah, yeah. Because everybody believes that their opinion is right, and what I what they think is what you should think, rather than actually. People well, don't... that's what they want. Everybody, yeah. every, everybody, well, everybody thinks they want to be around people that agree with everything. And everybody agrees with everybody. In reality, that that would be so freaking boring. Uh, you know, like if the whole planet, like, basically looked the same, dressed the same, talked the same. You know, you name it. Uh, what, what is there? What are, what are you looking for? I mean, I don't, I don't know. It's kind of going outside of what you were talking about, but uh, <laughs> it's like, what, what would make you happy? Yeah. Yeah. But that, that's a, another thing, though, isn't it? It's like, it doesn't matter how much time and and energy you you know you you put into some people. There's just no hope. There's just no help in somebody in some people because yeah. no matter what you say to them, their opinion's right and they won't be told otherwise. So yeah, I learned a long time ago uh, you can't argue with somebody on the internet. No, because because if 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 they like if you say something. And they, you know, whoever speaks first, and then the reply within the next two replies between you, if it's uh, just like okay, they're not even 
gonna try to empathize or to uh, try to walk a mile in your shoes or any, you know anything like that. Understand where you're coming from. Yeah, uh, it, it it it's never gonna work. It's just you just no point. And I can tell that from whether I leave a comment first or I reply to somebody. Uh, yeah, they. It's I can tell right away if they actually want to have a discussion, because plenty of times I say something that has nothing to do with uh, trying to negate what they're saying. Uh, I'm just speaking in general. Yeah. But they but they take it personally because they think so deeply about a particular subject or something, and and get mad and have a kind of an irrational response uh, in my opinion but uh, I mean you're not going to hurt my feelings unless um, I know you well enough and you do something intentionally you know that kind of thing yeah uh, I, I don't know you but... okay so what's your point what are you trying to talk about here and... but being on the internet it's anonymous even though you can get docs and all that. Uh, yeah. It, it, you're still anonymous when you leave a comment. Uh, my audio just went. I realized why the uh, achievements showed up because um, I've got this, I've got monitor capture on at the minute rather than uh, game capture. So. That's what I wondered. But here's the thing. Sometimes I can teach you some things. You know that already, but even well, you already know the what I was already going to tell you. <laughs> you already know that. <laughs> You're smarter than I am. No, like uh, regular games, uh, there's an option in OBS to allow Steam the Steam Everlay to show through. Yeah, there should be. That there is. Because right, well, I, 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 I noticed you always had where is it then? Steam achievements and like if you uh, shift tab or any of that to check out stuff. Yeah, it, it always worked. It didn't work for me. And I'm like, oh, well, check my settings because that's an overlay. Uh, yeah, uh, first thing I saw was I could do capture monitor rather than the particular game uh, and then I realized that uh, yeah I could do uh, set yes uh, show overlay you see this is there always used to be a tick box here on the screen right here which said something about show overlays such as steam blah de, blah de, blah but now there's nothing remember. There is nothing. Uh, it's somewhere else then. Because I don't even think what you're talking about. I think in between setting it up the first time or whenever, whatever. Um, I completely paid no attention to it. And of course, there's been updates. And so, yeah. Um, I had to go into the setting, go down through the settings to get to where overlays are. And I, it's been so long, I couldn't tell you. All right, we're going for two here, by the way. Wow, they got a crap load of, uh, of reward points. Reward points? On the Steam page. Oh. All the uh, points. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean now. Um. And while we was. Uh, it says you can teach me the basics of Fortnite. Um. Do I like COD? I used to. Um, but you know, we, we've had this conversation, haven't we? 
we, we spoke about this. Right, I was just looking at chat, looking for fish and cod and uh, Call of Duty. Okay, never mind. I, I, I see that now. It's like, God, think about like, y'all are talking about fish, and I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay. You finished, I'm like, hold on a second. Let me, let me look back at chat, because my uh, chat when it got covered, and I'm like, I don't see anything about fishing. More of a how to uh, it, so. Oh, bam! Right there at the top. Do you like cod, Dad? <laughs> I'm like, I'm an idiot. <laughs> totally missed all of that. Yep. So, what are you going for now? So, we're going for two. We're going to. I'm picking up these two memories that are well hidden in this area. Yeah, okay. I'm also going for the pacifist achievement as well, which is um, doing this entire area without killing any of the things, which should be relatively simple. I don't actually think that, um, other than that first area that I just went through and um, I did without killing anything. I don't think I actually killed anything on my previous attempt, so yeah, it should be pretty simple. Let's watch and see. Yeah, I thought it quite annoying and and I was like half a second where I could jump on that barrel but I couldn't walk through the other end and make the jump to the other side yeah like really I can only jump on this spot in the barrel and I can't right uh, if you don't make like, as long as you're, you're happy for us to talk about it Mika um, it was a bit anticlimactic if I'm honest the ending um they were clearly just sort of like leaving the door open for a sequel. Um, in as much that basically you just walk out the city and yeah, that's it, pretty much yeah, it. Yeah, and as far as uh, seeing those three friends again, you could you could assume that he did, but. Like you said, it's left kind of open-ended, so you can assume that and um, be right or wrong uh, if they ever actually do a sequel to this. Which you know, I'll be I'll be kind of disappointed to be honest. If they didn't make a sequel, but I think like we talked about what last night about like like gaming like the puzzle elements. Uh, being, yeah, being, being I, I would love it if they kept it like it is, squeezed it down into, and kind of changed it a little bit, instead of like, you know, dying is no fun. When you know, I guess you know, uh, appeal to more people. Why not? Uh, you can't die. You just can't continue the way you're going. You know, kind of, kind of, kind of like uh, a lot of people feel about like Portal. Like, don't put a player in a position to where they either have to kill themselves or stand there forever. So, yeah, those things, I know they don't. It doesn't change the longer you stay near them. All right, dude. See you later, man. 
See you tomorrow. Alright, one of the memories in that tunnel right there, Deathwish. Is that? What? The tunnel on the left? Yeah, the one with all the stuff. Which is interesting because I'm trying to obviously... Maybe we won't get to do this as a... Maybe we won't get to do oh, like a whole you, you, pacifist you don't wanna, thing. Yeah, you don't want to kill anything and... That's not possible. You can't wall run or anything. Okay. That's proper hidden. Yeah. Is this the kind of game that you like in terms of it's nice to have feedback? Yeah, it's, it's, it's the sort of game that I like because it's because it's very open-ended and not everything is um, revealed. It's nice to it's, it's a nice discussion game. You can have a good um, conversation about what's going on and, and what happened. So um, yeah, no, it was really good. Uh, in that respect, Mika. The sewer system, yes, I remember now. Clean water was scarce. The city was supplied by a huge machinery that dug deep into the earth. Just like everything else, it was rationed out in to out to sustain people during times of drought. The scientists showed me the blueprint of the water tanks. They are huge and contain whole, a whole building in them. Okay. Uh, Mika, you know what B12 stands for? A D12. D. Alright. When you find yourself in large halls where there are will be many eyes on the walls, run to the very end until you spring out onto the drain pipes, turn left and jump into another shaft and approach the pit with many eyes. What? So you're you're doing this by uh, color inside the lines method. <laughs> now B12, Mika. Uh, this, this is the description, look. Yeah, B as in uh, board or bombard or bazooka or bamboozle. Run to the very end until you spring out onto the drain pipes. Turn left and jump into another shaft and approach the pit with many eyes. I'm surprised you're using a walkthrough. Well, I ran through here before and didn't find a sausage, so. Yeah, but you're. Supposed to be way more patient than me. Don't you know your job? They just all commit <laughs> suicide. Huh. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, Mika, it's uh, blue 12. As long as I don't use the, what I, what I saw, as long as I don't use the, um, blue, uh, the purple light, I'm all right on this, I think. This is the place. Oh, 
Oh, it's this place. Oh, man. It's in here somewhere. Maybe I just gotta run through this. D B D B Z. That's already a mission, isn't it? D B Z. Ah, oh, no, Mickey, you're not done. Uh, the, uh, and, and the game, at one point, it's, it said in the text of the speech that B12 is blue 12. Uh, maybe not clarify whether they said something that actually made sense of it all, or that, that was it. Okay. This is the place here. Turn left and jump into another shaft. Man, they really didn't want you to find these, did they? Holy cow. So that'll be funny. I'm pretty sure I, I actually like investigated this and like actually went backwards and, and was quite thorough to look for another path here. And I didn't find one in my playthrough. That's quite interesting. The substance grows in all players uh, places where there are zerks. What is it made of? It seems to pulse as though alive. Do you think we're inside a giant organism? It's frame chilling. Yeah, this is kind of like one of the reasons why I watch you. Why is that? Because you don't uh, do all this other extra stuff. Like, <laughs> like I, I, I will, but if it doesn't work out the first time or two, then I just don't, I install it and move on because I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> but I, so I watch you do it. You complete it and few things that make me look stupid and I thoroughly enjoy that. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't I didn't know about this one. Yeah, I, I didn't really look at uh, all the achievements so much. I, I did see some, but I think it was on the Reddit okay. thing, and okay. I didn't show it all of them. Uh. I wasn't as nimble that time. Uh, you know, that whole thing, I swear, like, I, I, so I'd be, you know, clicking the alt, alt key to kick them off, and then, uh, of course, I'm using the mouse as camera movement. Uh, yeah. And, I, you know, I'd go to jump over to an area like that. I don't know, 10 seconds ago. And uh, uh, they get stuck on my head and I can't, it, the camera screws me and I can't tell which way I'm going. Yeah. It's like, really? Okay, I can't. How am I supposed to get these off? Blind luck? It's like you could be heading wherever and then lucky. I can't yeah. see, and I was pressing the same direction. I pressed jump. Hello. I think it's quite clear, though, that if you. Um... If you don't evade them enough, then they intentionally wanted you to die. 
<clears throat> yeah, at this point, yeah. I can see that. Uh, I probably sort of unwittingly uh, figured that out earlier on in that, uh, that long, well, the first long run stage where you go and they would come out left and right. Well, obviously, you want to steer away from them. Yeah. But, but you I also noticed that if you zigzag, essentially what they were teaching you is just a zigzag, they don't latch on. So. Right, kitty, kitty. Yeah, like this was this was one section that you had to, you had to just do a little zigzag and see where you're supposed to go at the very last second. Funny how visuals kind of, even if you're not thinking about it, how they they force you to go in certain directions. Hey. Yeah. Goodbye. Nailed it. All right. What have we got left now? Uh. You did the, the nine lives. What about the, the the pussy gets destroyed achievement? The what? The what pussy gets the pussy gets destroyed achievement. Uh, I'm not sure about that one. I think we need to really head to um, chapter 10 because there seems like there's a lot of things to pick up in chapter 10. Well, you didn't pick up on pussy, so. <laughs> oh, God, somebody out there, please. <laughs> got that one, got that one. Explain. <laughs> uh, thank you, my cheeks. My cheeks hurt. Your butt cheeks. Ah. Hold on a minute. I'll let you know. <laughs> well, hey, this is the spot we stood at for about 10 minutes last night where we uh, rambled on about other stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't realize that. And he patiently sat there, nodding off when he didn't hear anything anymore. You're like, oh, okay. To be fair, though, it's a bit, it's a bit weird, really, because um, it's it's one of those games where you don't. I suppose I don't really need to speak out what's being said, but. Yeah. It's a game of like not much dialogue anyway, so. Where are we going here? Go into the alleyway next to the robot in the jacket and the hat. Where are that guy is. Head down. Z mean actually I don't know actually. I said that I said I think I know what that means, but Alexa notification. One new notification from Amazon Shopping. You subscribe. You can make changes until August 25th. Just go to Amazon, open the menu, and find subscribe and save.
<laughs> Which do with the <laughs> I'm not even sure I want to know what you're subscribing to. <laughs> yeah. So we're at the. Oh, uh, uh. I think it. I don't know. It's probably an advertisement thing. But. Yeah, I, I did have. You know how you can order, like, say. You know, you go through a certain amount of clothes, you know, like detergent or safe or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I uh, like, uh, you know, paper towels, toilet paper. Uh, that It was talking about the toilet paper one. <laughs> Which uh, pro I'm probably getting close to being due for. I still have plenty of paper towels, too. So I'm good there. So if push comes to shove, uh, toilet paper can become... I mean, paper towels can't become toilet paper. <laughs> that is that is correct. Uh, it's not going to be good for your uh, sewage system. No. Because it, it doesn't uh, melt away like toilet paper paste do. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm not seeing where this one is. Uh, looking for the memory. Yeah, so it says, I'll go into, oh, I'll go into alley. Yeah. Climb up. Okay. Maybe I was just in the wrong place. Do I need to be more cat? Yeah, more cat. More cat, better cat. <laughs> Why did you have to be so disruptive, brat? Okay, I'm making, uh, Alexa, what are you thinking? Have you ever really thought about a chicken omelet? I mean, talk about an awkward family get together. <laughs> <laughs> No, the downstairs neighbors are up to. I keep hearing buzzsaws and hammer noises. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. <laughs> On earth do I need to be? Alexa, what are you thinking? Do you ever wonder where to find happiness? For me, it's often in the little things. Like electrons. Or protons, or the 2.7 trillion digit of. Jesus. Did you have to go that deep? I don't, my brain can't function on that level. <laughs> that, that one was a bit more in depth. Alexa, what is Mika thinking? This might answer your question. Maryland Institute College of Art Design. <laughs> okay, well, that answers your question, Mika. Uh, that particular college of art does not have a religious affiliation. So you would be free to wander around with don't hold up signs. Or actually hold up signs. This one is nice. I want you to actually feel the softness of the pillars that taste of cold drink. This drone is useful, but I am missing my own body. I miss feeling. I even miss hurting and being on the road. I know this isn't helping, but what if we stay just a little longer? Thanks for listening. I'm ready now. It didn't take you long, did it? To, uh... Alright, so it's the barber shop. We did that one. Find the restaurant. Large hole in the ceiling of the restaurant, apparently. Uh, I just finished. Color for your color. The whole thing? 100 done. GG. Do you actually believe that? No. <laughs>
<laughs> You're a great actor. Because there's no way I thought you would. Yeah. I haven't played it since earlier when we were talking on your stream, and then I managed to finish 41 levels. Yeah. While I'm talking to you. <laughs> also, while I'm on your Steam library as well. Yeah, that, that as well. This whole burgers and street food. I remember my favorite place to go when I was feeling it. It was small and welcoming, and the service name was. I don't remember. It started with M, I think. Right. Yeah, I'm asking you. So I need to. The last one is in the club. Up in the club. In the club. Apparently, as well, there is three badges to find here as well. One of the first robots to be, I don't know. Right. One of the first robots to be nuzzled about will be swearing at another robot behind the counter. Jump into the store and you will see a safe on the cabinet under the ceiling. What? Yeah, see, that's how thorough I was. I, okay. I did that on my own. Yep. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe not. Okay, this is where I thought. Okay, I remember a safe thing. Okay, I'm just gonna have to watch and see because my memory is. I'm looking bad. for a robot that's swearing at another robot, apparently. Back into the scene of the crime. Yeah. <laughs> this is where I stole clothes. And glass of the radio. Dim wit. Well, yeah, that didn't seem like an NPC at all. I mean, there, there needs to be a different term for NPC uh, when it comes to like, that, that kind of thing right there. We got the glitchy cat badge. Yeah, yeah, I got that one. Where was the... Uh, okay, it's interesting. Then where was the... Um, where do you find the combination? I guess it's maybe on here. Yeah, okay. But it's backwards. Two, four, five, eight, and then the word code is written backwards as well. Yeah, it's a tricky one. Alright, um, it was a to climb the window with bars. Yeah, this is the tricky part. <laughs> oh wait did I miss this when I climbed this last night I guess I did Pigeon spikes. 
They have. They, they can leave a mark. Uh, I, I, I was kind of wondering what they were. Never seen them before. Well, the pigeon spikes. Never seen it before. Uh, I, we don't have pigeons here really much. Even in downtown with all the buildings, it's the the mess you see are actually kind of and places you wouldn't think. But okay, yeah, they're still, quite common on like roofs and around like guttering areas on buildings here to try and deter birds from like being on the edge kind of thing. Yeah, I think, I mean, there's definitely things like that, uh, but not around here. You got to go into like Washington, D.C. or uh, uh, the major city, Northeast. But uh, like New York, uh, places in Jersey, all, all up there, Delaware. All right, so, um, this last badge is a minute. Oh, there you go. I was going to say, I'm missing a badge, but no, I'm not. Uh, all right, so the last badge might be quite tricky to get. Because you actually have to do the factory stuff. Help the guy get with his keys. Did, did you help the guy find his keys, Death Wish? Or... Yeah, he used a magnet. It's pretty cool, Mika. I just want to check. Um, actually, maybe not. That's a prison. I wondered actually whether or not I could, um, there was like another chapter or something. I could have um, just skipped forward to the factory, but I guess I've got to do all this again, so. It wouldn't be too bad. I think I remember. Are you, are you talking to other chats? Talking to other chats? I mean, aside from Twitch. No. Okay, I'm confused. Why? What are you confused about? Like, uh, if <laughs> if if you're uh, responding to me, well, it makes sense. Uh, and sometimes you're responding to chat, and then it's like, okay, I haven't said anything about that. The over chat, and it's like, oh, okay, there it is. But then, there's been quite a few times when you were saying something that had nothing to do with what I see in chat. Or I completely missed it. <laughs> uh, the, well, the last thing I was talking about was um, I, would, I didn't know if there was a way that I could go back and end up in the factory. I didn't know if that was a chapter. Um, but it's not, so I have to go through and do all of this stuff again. That's what I was saying, more than anything. Unless I said something else and I'm not aware of it. But... Well, uh, it's... A quarter to 7 p.m., so it's really getting late for me. 
So, yeah. That, that, that should explain everything. Okay. I think it does. <laughs> One thing uh, I need to explain though is uh, that security camera again. You never, you haven't done the three. I did two, and I can't remember where the last one is. Oh, they're all. Uh, that's what I found funny. I I ran around. The first one was like. As soon as I talk to the girl, they kind of show it in the face. And then the second one was like, yeah, okay, I expected it to be there. The third one, I'm like, I ran around dodging, doing whatever. And, uh, it's like, where the hell is it? And it was right in front of my face. Or make a Fenelon does not have a time zone. You're at zero zero colon zero zero hour. Are you saying Finland is a fictional place? Yes. Uh, oh my god. Uh, uh, well, I'm I'm just putting putting it out there near the reality. Not yes. you say. Hey, you said it. I didn't. So. No, I didn't say I suggested. You 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 confirmed and agreed. Yeah, well I mean you put it out there, I had I had to. I, I can't deny it at that point. The way it is. Oh, there it is. Oh well, Mika, um you saying that about the vital apparatus um reminded me of infra. Um, there's a mod. I, I saw that there was a mod that extends the story. So that was quite interesting. Um, it popped up on my um, Steam library Indeed. page the other day. Yeah, that's weird. It's 1.50 a.m. there. But here, it's 1.52. Hmm. Well, here it's 11.51. Yeah, what? Right. That doesn't make any sense. How did I get ahead of you, Mark? Hmm. Did we somehow tear the space-time fabric of the space-time continuum? The space-time fabric of space-time. <laughs> anyway. Something, something. Uh, we totally did. <laughs> Alright, so now I need to go to the boozer. Uh, Chow shot a portal onto a camera. Really? Oh, yeah, I don't know. For some reason, of course you are, but I was, um, for some reason, it reminded me of Infra. I don't know why. Good. I have no idea why it was re reminding me of Infra. Of course, it's Portal 1. I thought she's stunned on the wiser. I think I'm going full retard. Because what you're saying and looking at Twitch chat, I know. Mika, Mika said vital testing apparatus destroyed. Which I then said, for some reason, that reminded me of um, Infra. Infra, but it's in, of course, Portal.
pretty much um, pretty much where we are. Be jumping in and out a bit, dude. Hello. Hello. I hear you. Uh, it kind of went dead, but then I looked at my light and it said everything was okay. Okay. Well, good news. I'm not dead. <laughs> what? I said good news. I'm not dead. It's a cat? Uh, I don't know. He's in the box. Hard to tell. Wait a minute. You... You didn't do this? Yeah, I did this. Uh, I was going to say, how did you get through? Because I thought that was actual integral part of the sneaking inside bit. I didn't realize yeah. there was that escape route there out there. Yeah, that's because you're stupid. Wow. <laughs> Harsh. Ah, uh, man, you know me. I just gotta be real. Uh, I also project my abilities onto others. Uh, no, I think it was right the first time, wasn't you? It's just simply vital, vital testing apparatus destroyed. Oh, that's all she says. Oh. That's what I thought. Of course, that doesn't mean it. I think lots of things. Well, and you're better than 60% uh, of the population. They, they don't think. They don't think. Yeah, sad but true. It's like the Metallica song. All right, so. Keys will lie in the next area after you find the dude. Um, we need to hide from security drones behind moving boxes on a pile of garbage. You think, is this where you're talking about? Is this where you're talking about? You haven't gotten a key yet. No, no, yeah, I didn't. I didn't get the because um, you got the guy here. Yeah. Um, who dropped the key in down below? Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 You, had, you haven't done that. Oh. Wow. Okay. I mean, I don't mean that in a bad way. I was like, wow, because for some reason I thought you did that. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I spoke to the guy, and I know that he said that he'd like dropped his key and yada yada yada. Yeah. Um, but that's pretty much as far as I went. Um, yeah. See, I. Yeah, first playthrough, I died here a few times because I had to, I had to be a uh, kamikaze, of course. And like, I, I can make it, I can make it. Nope, can't make it. I tried five times, can't make it. But then, yeah. Okay, I get the key. I mean, that was like my main objective for some reason. It's a little weird, but yeah, I, I, I got it. Uh, like. Right off the bat, as if I knew that was. That's what she said. Look at you, mad cat. Now, go around, do it again. All right, Wheatley. Yep, it's off at once. Do it again. Alright, so do you actually remember where these are? 
Absolutely. But I do remember doing this, but no, I. Uh, at least at this present moment in time. Uh, it just said, it just says, um, the keys will lie in the next area where you will need to hide from security drones behind moving boxes on a pile of garbage. Yeah. I uh, swear to God, uh, if I remember, I would tell you, this is why. Uh, when I record myself playing stuff, I, I've, it's typically 100% blind unless I'm doing replays. Because if I, if I play something, it, my second playthrough would be worse. My th play, third playthrough would be worse. So I get the impression it's this way somewhere. I've already gone past it. There it is. There it is. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, it, it dawned on me when you were facing that last direction. There's probably quite a few to be fair, Minka. I think to be fair, I, I kind of gave up a little bit because when I'm when I saw this worker initially and he's looking down, to me that gave me the impression that he dropped the keys down below. Then I talked to that dude and never paid attention to gestures like none of the Fix it, but none of the worker guys I paid it in to you, I just talked to. Hey, badges. Good job, guy. So yeah. now we just gotta finish we gotta finish this area off though. First one's pointless. Oh, okay, that's what you mean. Yeah, that's more along my uh, gameplay design. <laughs> uh, I was kind of surprised, like, at that, where they wouldn't allow the barrel to save you. Yeah. Which was which was kinda nice I figured oh no. Not gonna let you do that. You have to have a box. Like we're you know, all six sides depending on the shape uh we're closed off. So you can only um one of them at a time. Yep, I was gonna say uh, one at a time. And... It's quite nice though, like when thinking about the um, speedrun side of things. When I, I'm, I'm sure I'll give the speedrun trophy a go at some point. But like, you don't have to wait like in front of something to hack something. You can literally like set your robot to like go and hack it and um you can either, like carry on and walk away and do the next thing you need to do so that's quite nice that worked for me i had to sit there and set every one so apparently i missed the keyboard button or misread which that's Probably 
Oof. That's a bit weird, really, to be fair. I just realised, well, I should have um, carried on being stealthy because uh, it's the trophy for, like, sneaking. Yeah, I guess you don't want to trip anybody up. I think, wait, I'm going for stealthy. Like that, you set off the target. And, uh, I've, given him, I've given up him for stealthy, if you'd uh, unnoticed. Yeah, okay, yeah, now I'm seeing. But, see, I don't know. I don't know if I, I, I'm not looking right now, I don't care. Uh, but, yeah, that's just kind of how I play the game to start off with. <laughs> Now you're doing it, by the way. Run, Forrest, run. <laughs> but yeah, I don't... I don't know if, uh... If they change colors... I'm assuming that, I... If, if that range still... I assume I've still got to find all these, even though I know where everything is. Uh, yeah, so I think that's one I skipped as well. Because you can figure out where you're supposed to go. Do you so not I have can... to find them all, then? Uh, no, I... I don't recall finding them all, but that doesn't mean anything. I thought when I first played it, I got, no, maybe I did, maybe I did. Yeah, I think I did. Cause I was like, oh, I think my first one, it, it had to do with the club. And so I was like, okay, ran down there and nope, can't go in. It was the same thing. So I'm like, okay. So you have to find each of those objects. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because there's a bit of text that triggers um, to basically indicates that you found everything. Yeah. And I was missing one. And I forget which one it was that took me so long to find i ran around like wh where did i miss one you know it's like it has to be in in here yeah good night mika oh, good night so bad mika thanks for hanging dude as always appreciate it have a good week uh we'll catch you Weekend. We next stream. Yeah, I'd be out of out of town this weekend. Friday through Sunday. Yeah, it's, it's funny how, like, once you play the game originally, then you, you've seen things, you can, uh, you realize you can just literally just run around and avoid everything, with, uh, except for right there where you just got <laughs> absolutely... Too soon. Spoke uh, too soon. <laughs> yeah, except for moments like that. Oh, do I have to find Jeez. these things again? Right there, you're almost out. Apparently, they gave them uh, a little more horsepower on the exit area, so you need to do a little more bob and you should have weaved and, uh, you know, that's that kind of thing. 
I don't think I need to find them all again. I think I just need to escape. Yeah, hey, psychological Adam. Yo, Adam, what's going on, dude? Hope you're well. And swell. Swell? You're calling me fat? You're saying I've swelled? What day? No, swell. Or then you can change the whole meaning by saying swole. But that doesn't mean fat either. Good, it can. It does. Like you swole up, you're swollen. You're bloated, you're fat. Or you're swole. Uh, as in, like you've been taking steroids and lifting 9,000 pounds a day. And you're swole like that. Yeah, I've not heard that one before, I don't think. Yeah, really? The muscular swole? Hi. Damn, yeah, I mean, that's... Well, they spell it, I think, uh, uh, the way they spell it, uh, begins slang is... Instead of S-W-L-L-E, it's S-W-O-L-L. -L. Two nails to probably change that again. Damn kids, get off my lawn. <laughs> All right, so but our last memory here. At least somebody has one. Jeez. Last fragment is in the club behind the bar. There's an elevator that will take you to another fragment. Oh, it's like a little, um... Ah, interesting. Like a little service hatch elevator. Yeah, we have a name for him. When I was human, my friends and I would gather and party long into the night, even if we had to suffer the annoying consequences the next morning. It felt good to find joy despite the unlivable surface. And the underground living conditions became more and more squ squalid. Squalid? Squalid. Squalid. And capitalistic greed of companies like Necocorp and the police state created by the Sentinels. Now I remember why we were doing that. I remember everything. I remember everything now. I feel amazing. Thank you so much. Here, a little present for you. Oh! He got an upgrade. Nice. All right, so there is one more thing I want to do. And it's an achievement. Leatherfish? Yep. Ah. <laughs> just checking. I'm just lurking, man. Just checking. I, 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 yep, you got... If I'm not talking, you got to check to see if I'm still alive. But uh, I'm actually... Uh, All right. More quiet than talking. So, uh, at the end of Chapter 10... You'll Shut up! I'm trying to talk! Goddamn! At the end of Chapter 10, you'll <laughs> enter a nightclub... <laughs> On one of the tables by the bar is a record. Pick it up, place it on the turntable at the main stage, and press the button to scratch it. Then connect the laser to the receiver. 
Gotcha. Don't forget to connect the laser to the receiver. Also known as the laser catcher. So why would it not be called that? Just go cat. Got the achievement. E. So when I first saw these two, I thought this was like a slight homage to uh, Daft Punk. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think of, Daft Punk. With the headgear. Right, to be fair, it's not really, it's not that niche anymore. I think it's quite a few, um, DJs out there that wear helmets like Marshmallow and um, Dead Mouse and all those sorts of people. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's not a popular thing here. Let's have a quick reload. Or not. Or just, I don't know, what, die? I think Steam, Steam died. I think Steam Dundee died. Well, they're still new. Give them time. They'll catch up. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I think it just updated. Uh, I already said you can. It's fine. Why are you ask me again, game? It's just this is broken. Well, there we go. All right, so we are six away. We've got 18 now out of 24. Overlay's broken. Let's go back to the web page. It'll be a lot easier. <laughs> All right, so yeah, 18 out of 24, six to go. So um, we know what we need to do in these two. This is like, we've got to sleep for an hour. Yeah, you might as well just go go ahead and go into your map, lay down, walk away. Wake up in the morning. Although, you know, between you and some other people about the cost of electricity over there, holy crap. Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, I'm like, okay, between that and for y'all petrol, Gas, diesel, whatever over here is way, way, way cheaper. All right. Yeah, electricity? Yeah. I don't have to. I can put my AC. If it's 90, 95 degrees outside, I put my AC on 70. And yeah, my, my amount might go up by 20 bucks. That much. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, right. So the achievements <laughs> we got left. No, I did, generally that wasn't aimed at you, dude. I was generally yawning. Um, did not off. The achievements I'm missing then are I need to sleep for an hour, I need to complete the game in two hours, I need to do the first chase without getting anything latching on to me. Um, yeah, that's easy. I want to start out with that one. It's easy. I need to do the sneaking one. Um, yeah, so basically, even if they turn yellow, that counts as being caught, which is fair enough. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I was talking about, I thought. Yeah, if you alert alert them in any way, then that's you're done. 
because once they typically, technically, once they turn yellow, they start coming after you. But yeah, uh, you, it gives you a chance to get away. But they just they can slowly follow you, and then then you get into the until you get into the red. And the only way out is to hop into a box right in front of them. Uh, and let the flaps move around while they see that. But then they don't know where you are. Advanced technology. Oh, that last... Is that last memory not saved? Huh. Not safe. I'm not sure though what achievement I'm missing here because I've just been through the list. But does it show you have 23 out of 24? Or? No, no. It says that I've on Steam. It says that I've got 18 out of 24, but I can't count six that I'm missing. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of weird. We got um, sleeping two hours, stealth, chase, that's four. I feel like I should have uh, like I should have twenty, not um team. The uh just uh, what was I gonna say? Uh the uh the elevator, food elevator. It's called a dumb waiter. At least here. What waiter? A dumb waiter. As dumb a D U M B. Okay. Uh, yeah, dumb waiter. Like you have a kitchen below and they send things up. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Send dirty dishes down. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's. I think that's still name. I mean, it's not a rich thing, but when I was growing up, that would be a rich thing. Yeah, it's the sort of thing you'd have in um, like old fashioned houses and stuff. But, uh, uh, just, just, uh, rich people houses yeah. they had. You know, they had people that they cook for them and they sent stuff up to the people that served them by the dumbwaiter. Yeah. Kind of wild how things evolve. And I don't know what people, what people think. But the people that impress me the most are the ones that uh, keep an open mind and actually change their mind about things based on new data. Yeah. Right. That should so be our safe spot. Hmm. Believe you helped me and then you screwed me over. Clementine, that, yeah, that's from The Walking Dead. There he is. No, oh, not dead.
Alright, so hopefully now we should be at. Oh, there we go, 27 out of 20. Boom! Nice job. Excellent. So, yeah, I don't. Yeah, no, I don't need to do it. <laughs> as long as you do it. All right, let's have a look at these. I know what productive day is. I know what the speed run one is. We've got miss jump, fall inside the city, can't catch me. So we need can't catch me. That's three. Meet B12. Was that a robot? Beat the sewers that can any zerks. We've done that. Reach Midtown. Sneaky key. Okay, that's four. Go to jail. Complete the game and open the city. Um, jump 500 times. Meow 100 times. Die nine times. Okay, sleeping. I think I already counted the sleeping one. Done the TV, we've done the paper bag, we've done the basketball, we've done Mahjong, we've done scratch, we've done the rubbing up against other people. Done all of the musics, we've done the I remember, collected all the badges, we've done scratches in each ch uh, yeah, we've done scratches in each chapter. You didn't? Oh it is. So yeah, I don't know. Did you say you did get it? I'll go through them here again. Miss Jump. Can't catch me, I need. Not alone. Cat got your tongue. Pacifist. Yeah. Um... Catwalk. Yeah, got catwalk. Sneak kitty we need. Alcatraz. Yep. Yeah. I am speed we need. Yeah, I don't know why you're scrolling up and down. Uh, aren't all the ones Catapult. you don't have at the bottom? No, because some of them are hidden and it's difficult to... I'm just comparing them to another list, you see, and it's just easier if I do it this yeah. way. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I've kind of I've kind of gotten... Oh, which has been going on a while with the, the hidden achievements. You can get every achievement, but... Uh, they could have, like, whatever, 7, 12 hidden achievements. And you don't know what they are until you get them. Well, what's the point in letting them letting you know what they are? Yeah, because you just did it to get the achievement. You know what it is. I mean, it's like I don't I don't get the whole hidden achievement thing. Other than the fact that yeah, I get it. They they want uh, more hours on their games. Okay, s scratch isn't showing. Yeah, I swear, I scratched every goddamn thing in the game, and I didn't. No, get no, it. the um, not that one. The uh, the one for scratching the record in the club. No. That one's not showing up. It it popped up when you did it. Yeah. Um, cat's best friend. Well, I guess you can use uh, Sam. I remember. And I remember's not okay. So they're the two that I'm missing that I haven't popped up. The last two that I just did, they seem to have glitched out. So the one for getting all the memories, which is like one of the basically the biggest one in the game. All it says is, please remember that it's not enough to just find the item for this, for the memories, for this and other collectible achievements. Be sure to go through the save, some save point after that, because if you find the item and just exit to the menu, the progress will not be saved. 
time when the game was last saved. Can we, yeah, but I know it won't be saved, but come on, that's the, the yeah, okay. All right, it says scratch. Scratch can be is potentially glitched. The achievement may not be unlocked if you if you are if you play on keyboard. But for most players, this issue fixes when playing on any type of controller. It says it's fixed by developers, but it definitely popped up at the bottom. Yeah, uh, I saw it. It registered. But then, as well, though, it's saying that I'm disconnected from Steam, so I wonder if that's got anything to do with it at the minute. Well, but uh, um, yeah, yeah, I'm disconnected as well. Hmm. Steam, Steam chat, and all that. Yeah. But uh, I think, yeah, that can definitely affect uh, certain things. Yeah. Yeah, the, all right. Uh, well, Steam chat's down. That, that might be the issue. I'll check it tomorrow and um, see what's what. But um, yeah, there we go, guys. Um, that'll be that will be the last sort of stream and episode of Stray. Um, I don't think I'm going to even cut this one up for YouTube. I'm just going to chuck it up as is. And um, well, let me say a little hey, 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 then. Little hey, 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 then. Um, yeah, we'll just chuck it up how it is, I think. I don't think there's anything here to... Um, that I really need to chop up into multiple episodes. There's always going to be a bonus um, episode, bonus stream. So, um, yeah. I think uh, I'll leave it as one solid thing. Thank you very much, though, once again, to everybody for tuning in. Thanks again to Deathwish for the... Um, Dream Takeover award that led to this. Really appreciate it, dude. I know I've said that every every night we've played this, but um, no, it's been really been a blast. Enjoyed playing it. Um, and yeah, hopefully they'll uh, add to it even more in the near future. Fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, guys, yeah, until yeah. next time. Oh, you want to say something? Yeah, uh, I'm just going to interrupt and uh, say Thanks for playing and going back through and uh, giving that extra knock activity on it. And knocked it out the box as usual. That's some pretty, for, uh, some pretty good conversations for... tonight as well, which was quite nice as well. So, uh, yeah, all good. Yeah, well, I appreciate you playing it. And, yeah, glad you enjoyed it. So, look forward to your next stream. So, yep which uh, will be on a Saturday night for anybody who is um, interested. But uh, yeah, thanks a lot, guys, for tuning in. I really do appreciate the support. And until next time, I'm Enoch. You've been awesome. Take care, stay safe. And until next time, happy gaming. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.